Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a current subscriber, welcome if you are new. If you'd like pick a card readings, feel free to join the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. You'll be notified each time we do upload a new video. If you do like pick a card readings, feel free to check out the playlist. They are timeless readings. If you do want a personal reading, my email address is in the description box down below. Today's pick a card reading is you versus them, the person that you are thinking about. We're going to do a little bit of comparison to see energetically where you're both at, how you are feeling, what are your feelings and intentions, what are maybe some obstacle or challenges in the connection, what you both see as a strength, and what is the advice. I do have three groups here. This is group one. This is group two. This is group three. Take a moment, pause the video, see which one you're drawn to, and the timestamps will be listed down below. Hi, group one. If you chose this card, this is going to be your reading. This is the number eight abundance card. So I do feel like the month of August could be significant. Somebody could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this is a connection overall that I feel like there is a lot of romance between the two of you. There could be a lot of love and passion, but there is also a lot of heat between the two of you. Maybe you cannot get on the same page at times on how to really grow this connection. So first thing I want to do is I want to pull one card for your energy, one card for your person's energy, and let's see what the difference is currently. Okay, so group one, your energy is that you feel like things are moving to a new phase, that maybe the two of you are just starting to heat up this connection and you're really trying to elevate, maybe learn more about this person, really trying to elevate it into something more, that you are preparing for things to go to the next level. Your person's energy is all about love. They feel like they are very much affectionate towards you. They feel very attracted towards you. And they feel like they're in this selfless energy where they're really not being selfish. They are really trying to give you all the love that they possibly can. They feel very drawn to you when it comes to physically. And they also are very much romantically attracted to you. So this is somebody, they have a strong passion and desire for you, but they also love you. So they're feeling a lot of feeling and emotions at this time. Let's see between the two of you what are your intentions. Group one, what are your intentions in this connection? Okay, so you want higher level of commitment. Maybe you want to get married. Maybe you want to get engaged. You want to be exclusive for others of you. Maybe it is deciding on, if you're already engaged, setting a wedding date or living together. So group one, you are wanting to really progress this connection into something so much more than what it currently is. Let's see what your person's intentions are in the current energy. Okay, your person wants to give you the world. This person sees that you are perfect in their eyes, that you offer everything that they would want in a future partner. They feel like there is so much more the two of you really could do together, that you could really conquer the world together. And their intentions are to try to give that to you. They really want to spend their life with you. Let's see what you see, group one, as the obstacle in this connection. Okay, so the, the obstacle is passion, that maybe there's not enough time for you two to be together physically, and that could be part of the obstacle. Let's see what your person shows as their obstacle on their end. Okay, so part of their obstacle is maybe sometimes they do kind of go into this quiet mode where they need time by themselves. It could be something that really um, you see as a turnoff, but maybe they see it as it's necessary for them to recharge as a person. They do see that them maybe finding themselves at times and self-isolating is necessary for them to really think through and process life. And maybe that's just how they are as a person, part of their personality. Let's see what you show as the strength in this connection, group one. Okay, you both are very independent. You're both very attractive and you're both very successful. So you feel that that is a strength that both of you actually bring to the table with this connection, that you both are not codependent on other people to take care of you financially or physically. You're very self-sufficient 
And you also recognize that both of you individually can have your own lives outside of your connection, that you're still, you know, a friend to people, that you still hang out with your family, you still do things with your coworkers, that you don't make your life solely about this person and no one else. That is something that you see as a strength in this connection, that you both are able to do that. Let's see what your partner sees as the strength in the connection. Okay, so communication is something that your partner sees as both of you are very clear cut about your communication, how you feel about each other, what the expectation is, how this connection is going to be in the future, and how it's really going to grow. So let's see what is the likely outcome between the two of you. Okay, so you're going to walk away from things that do not serve you in this connection, that the two of you will overcome some obstacles and challenges that you maybe don't see coming at this current moment, but both of you will be very focused. The number eight is very significant, which is all about infinity. If you turn an eight to the side, it's all an ever-ending loop together. It's all about destiny, and this connection feels like it, it really is transcending up to that higher level of commitment group one, and that you and your person clearly are both on the same page when it comes to what it is that you both want. So let's get one card of advice. What is the advice for group one? Okay, so the number 49, somebody could be 49 years old, could be significant. So your advice really is to surrender to the process and allow the love to flow naturally between the two of you. Really being able to look at what is the perspective of what you want and focus on that. Allowing things to naturally evolve within this connection is going to make it very successful. Really just being within peace that the both of you are on the same page, that you want the same things and you feel the same way is what's gonna be really important for you, group one. Okay, that is what I have for you. If you would like a personal reading, my email address is in the description box down below. Thank you, bye. Hi group two, if you chose this card, this is going to be your reading. This is the number 21 card, so somebody could be 21 years old or the month of January or February could be very significant in this connection. This is the communication card, so there is a strong intuitive communication that maybe both of you are feeling in this connection. Let's pull one card for your energy and one card for your person group too, and let's see energetically where you're both at in this connection. Okay, so you feel like this is a very happy connection. This is somebody that you really feel like you can be yourself, you can live in the moment. Maybe this person helps you become a little bit more of a risk taker group too. If you are somebody who is very rigid or likes to plan everything out, this person makes you feel very vulnerable. This person allows you to really live within the moment and enjoy life very much so. Let's see what your person's energy is within this connection, group two. Okay, so your person is maybe at times feeling like they need to self-isolate. Maybe they don't want to communicate about certain things. There are sometimes there are things that they feel that they really need to set boundaries on when it comes to conversations about things from their past or things that they've experienced. There is this need to not deal with certain things when it comes to their history. And this person feels like intuitively you should know that about them by now. And so that's why sometimes they feel like they do need to set up those boundaries. So let's take a look, group two, with this person. What are your intentions in this connection? Okay, so you are hoping that this connection will turn into some type of romantic situation. If this is somebody you are friends with or you're kind of just talking to, you're hoping that this would actually evolve into starting into the both of you being able to express feelings and emotions for each other. Let's see what your person feels for intentions. Okay, this person feels that you guys are good friends, that you are able to grow together, you're able to spend time together, you're able to party and go out and do things together. This person really feels like you are somebody who's very loyal and that they can trust. So their intentions are to continue and maintain the friendship. 
Let's see what you show as the challenge or obstacle in this connection, group two. Okay, so maybe at times this person can come across as a little bit domineering or maybe even controlling. That could be a challenge, and that could be because this person doesn't want to fully open up their feelings or emotions, and maybe group two, you see that as them coming across as being too much in control, but it's really them trying to protect themselves. There's some hurt from their past that they really don't want to talk about. They're not ready to um, open up those boundaries for you to be able to hear their side of what happened in their past. So um, you kind of see that as a challenge or an obstacle that they're not fully open. Let's see what your person sees as the obstacle or challenge in this connection. Okay, so they see commitment as a obstacle or challenge. Um, I don't know if maybe they are wanting commitment from you eventually, and maybe you are of the mindset you're enjoying being single, or maybe you're wanting commitment and they're wanting to just stay friends for the moment. So that could be an obstacle or a challenge in this connection, that if you're not on the same page, that could definitely cause some conflict. Uh, this person clearly does not want to be pushed into a commitment prior to them being ready. Let's see, what do you see as the strength in this connection, group two? Okay, you see the strength. So you see that they're, both of you are very courageous and very strong people and that you're both very supportive of each other with whatever endeavors that is. That there is that number eight that is coming out and there's also the number three. And three and eight is 11, which is twin flame soulmates. There might be a times that you mirror each other when it comes to what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are, group two. So let's see what your person sees as the strength in this connection. Okay, so they see that both of you are able to really communicate and that you both know exactly what it is that you want. That you're both being honest with yourself and really trying to be very independent in your energy of whatever it is that you're progressing towards. There is clearly an energy of fun and laughter between the two of you in this friendship. And that is clearly something this person sees as a strength, that both of you are able to be open and honest and have fun together. So what is the advice? Okay, so the advice is there is gonna be conflicts in this connection. Clearly there are conflicts because if one of you wants a commitment and the other one does not, then that can definitely be a challenge. So being able to really communicate and openly talk with each other and not necessarily um, argue about it, but really understand what is the difference here and understand that everybody has a right to what it is that they want. So if this person does not want to open up and communicate how they feel about their past, and you are pushing that, that is going to cause more arguments. What is the likely outcome here? Okay, so letting go of stress and anxiety, going with the flow, enjoying the moment, enjoying each other. Let's see, what is the advice? What is the advice for group two? Okay, so the advice is really being able to let go and being able to understand that sometimes things need to change, that you cannot always have restrictions on what you expect when it comes to a connection, that maybe you need to be more open and receptive, that things may change, that if you are wanting something more than what this person is wanting, that maybe you're just not on the same page. And that's okay, it's okay to accept that. And really being able to understand where are you going. There are those threes again. You could be seeing lots of threes group two during this time period. But really understanding can you just be friends with this person at this moment because that is clearly the energy they are in. Okay, that is what I have for you group two. If you would like a personal reading, my email address is in the description box down below. Thank you. Bye. Hi, group three. If you chose this card, this is going to be your reading. This is the number 11 card. So this could be all about inspiring new beginnings with you and this person. Um, it is also all about seeing what is the potential here. 
there there clearly is with the sun here there's a lot of hope and optimism but it feels like it's a little murky there might be a lot of feelings and emotions that are hidden between the two of you that have not been expressed and maybe somebody is feeling inspired to want to express themselves so let's find out what is your energy in this connection group three Okay, so you're wanting to really expand this connection. You're wanting to really grow it. You're wanting to be able to express things. Your person's energy is all about making memories. They are perceiving things that they have learned from their past experiences. And they are not interested in repeating cycles like they've had with other people. They do want to pursue this connection. They do want to date. They do want to be able to try to evolve it into something more. So let's take a look and see what is your intentions, group three, in this connection. You want to be able to prepare for something new in the connection. You're feeling very inspired. So you want to be able to let go of any stress, any anxiety, and any defeat when it comes to this connection. This could very much be a ex that you are thinking about, that you are watching this reading, you're thinking about your ex, and maybe you're wanting to evolve the situation and be able to come back together. Maybe you're feeling inspired to give it another chance, and your intentions are to not feel defeated the second time around to maybe make things work. And this is somebody that you clearly are broken up with or you are in separation. And it maybe was a very painful ending for the two of you. And you really are recognizing why the two of you broke up. And you're wanting to let that go and maybe come back together in union. So let's see what is their intentions. Okay, so they're not being fully honest with their intentions. It could be, you know, that maybe they're not going to be fully transparent if they were to reach out to you in the month of July or in October or November is significant months in this connection. But clearly this person is reminiscing about the issues that the two of you had. And they're thinking about how things could have been different. If they would have said this or if they would have done this, this person is feeling inspired to really not be dishonest the next time around. That their intentions are to really be fully transparent about the communication. And maybe the communication style was off between the two of you in the past. Let's see, what do you see as the challenge in this connection, group three? Okay, so commitment is something and immaturity is something that was clearly a challenge in the connection. Maybe this person did not give you that higher level of commitment. Maybe when you were together, you were younger, or maybe they were just very immature or irresponsible, and they were not able to fully give you what you expected or needed in the past. So that definitely was a challenge or an obstacle when you think about it. Let's see what they see as the challenge or obstacle. Okay, so they see the challenge really as that maybe you were more hopeful than they were. Maybe they were not able to give you or provide for you in the way that they felt you deserved. And that was something that really created a massive challenge or obstacle that this person recognized they were lying to themselves about really what they could provide to you. But now they're realizing that they're feeling more inspired because they do miss you, that they want to be able to go above and beyond to try to get you back. So let's find out what do you see as the strength in this connection, group three. Okay, that you really can work together, that you do have a good communication together, that the two of you really can be very focused and committed to each other, and that you both can really put in that effort to grow this connection again. There's a sense of loyalty here between the two of you. Your person sees that the the strength in the connection is that sometimes you both get confused at times about what to do. And that's okay, that it's okay to be indecisive at times. And sometimes it's okay to just step back and really just realize that you're at a crossroads and that you have to make a better decision for the situation. I feel like with the moon, there's a lot of things that are hidden and there's a lot of layers and depth to this person and what they have been thinking since the two of you have been separated. And this person really does see that maybe stepping back at times and not making a hasty decision is a strength in this connection because they feel like now they are perceiving things very different because they are looking at it from a different point of view. Let's see, what is the advice in this connection? Okay, being able to set up goals, being able to make a decision, make a plan, what is the direction? Being able to really 
decide what do I want? What would be fair and balanced for both of us? And how can we work in in unison together to make it work the second time around. You could be seeing lots of twos and threes right now. Let's see what the likely outcome is. Okay, that this person does want to be able to express their love for you. This person is somebody who really has matured quite a bit since you have broke up. This person does want to be able to be more supportive in the connection than they were in the past. And that is something that's very important to this person is they want you to perceive them differently because they feel that they have evolved since the two of you have broke up. Let's get one card for advice for group three. Okay, so really learning what is the strategy. Ones are all about having that new beginning, making the decision to have the beginning, and then working together, focusing together in a committed relationship, and both of you equally putting in that effort to rewrite history. You can't take back what's happened in the past in the connection, but you can start a new chapter going forward. And that's something that is really um you two can plan on to be able to do. And time will tell if you both are inspired to really fulfill the wishes of being together. Okay, that is what I have for you, group three. If you would like a personal reading, my email address is in the description box down below. Thank you. Bye.